Hello, welcome to the Dave and Ann Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Cross Country and Track and Field Coach Dave and Ann. And Coach, uh, you wrapped up your season a few weeks ago. Let's start by talking a little about the MAC Championship. Um, you know, just overall, you know, pretty good day. Maybe not what you want on the men's side. A little bit disappointing, but over, you know, still second place finish and uh, some strong individuals on both sides. Yeah, so I mean, it, it was tough. I mean, they definitely really wanted to win on the men's side, yeah. but I mean, second place two years in a row. I mean, it. it it's it's a great accomplishment, yeah. especially if you look back to where we were right. three, four, or five years ago. And then the woman finishing um, fifth as well, that was yeah. a really big accomplishment and, and shows um, just what a bright future we have kind of on both sides. Yeah, and like you said, on both sides, really, um, you know, on the women's side, you don't lose anybody. And on the men's side, you know, you lose a couple guys, but not, you know, this, a lot of the core is back. So, you know, it's not like this is going to be, oh, we, you know, our first senior class, the first class you recruited. We're going to drop off a little bit. You guys should be right in the mix. Yeah, I mean, it, it's going to hurt us on the men's side losing Langston Gash, yeah, but but we, we will definitely have other people step yeah. up and then have a few kind of solid recruits coming in. And then, like you said, on the women's side, we don't lose anybody. Yeah. And um, Kelly Winklebauer is coming back for um, for another semester mm -hmm. because she had a medical red shirt. So we're, we're excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. And then um, the NCAA regionals, um, go to the men finish eighth and the women I believe it was 20th, and that's yeah. their best ever finish. So, um, you know, again, just a lot to be excited about. And obviously, you know, Pat goes out and finishes second on the men's side and was able to qualify for nationals. Yeah, so, I mean, definitely the goal for the men was to finish top four. Yeah. And um, if everything went perfect, that still could have happened. But, I mean, last year we were seventh, this year we were eighth. Yeah. Uh, five through eight was such a tight point gap. That, yeah. I mean, it could have went either way. So, so I, I'm, I'm happy with the way it went. And then the woman, again, finishing higher than ever and bringing yeah. everyone back. I mean, it's it's a good sign for, for next year. Yeah. And then so um, obviously Pat Watson goes out yeah. for the second straight year, goes out to Nationals and, um, you know, runs a great race, finishes 15th, program's first ever All-American. I mean, that had to had to be awesome to watch him compete and, um, you know, be, be that first All-American. And, um, you know, he's right there. Yeah. And Pat, I mean, he's such a great role model and leader on the team too. I mean, he does everything right. And um, just for him to go out there, I mean, the goal was, so top 40 was All-American. Yeah. And I told him, I mean, perfect day, he could be top 15. Yeah. And then he goes and finishes 15th. So it was really exciting. Um, the top 15 and at um, Cross Country Nationals get, it, it's kind of a little bit different of an award. You get an NCAA award and then 15 okay. through 40 yeah. get our Coach Association All-American Award. Right. So um, it was exciting to, to finish and, and crack that top 15. And he's only a junior. So yeah. it's exciting. I mean, the year before he was 71st. Yeah. Now this year he's 15th. So I think there were only four um, uh, underclassmen ahead of him. So it's yeah. exciting. Yeah, so now obviously having that experience, now having gone out twice, that you know if he's fortunate to you know qualify again and be able to go out there for a third time, he'll have you know, he'll be one of the most experienced guys in that field next year. Yeah, yeah and that, again, obviously you yeah. hope that you know the team will be able to join him, but mm -hmm. even if he goes against an individual, he'll have that experience and again be one of the, probably be one of the top one of the favorites to you know finish top five or possibly even win. Yeah, and I mean it's exciting to look, to look ahead, but I mean like you said, we definitely would love to have some women and the men's team out there next year, but. Um, Pat having that experience is definitely really, really important. Yeah. Um, so like you said, you kind of touched on it, but you bring everybody back for next year or just about everybody back. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you know, obviously you've got, you start track season this week, so that's, mm -hmm. but um, what do you do, what do the cross country guys do to kind of build towards next year already? You know, just compete strong in track and then do some of their off season stuff? And yeah, so, so what we do right now is, after cross country, instead of taking some downtime, yeah. we take advantage of the fitness and keep them training all the way up until this first meet. Yeah. So the distance runners and the cross—I mean, the cross country runners should have a, a pretty good performance at right. the meet this weekend. And then on the track side, it's kind of that opportunity to get in one meet before before they head home for winter break. Yeah. And and I mean, it's just it's a year round sport. It takes yeah. a lot of commitment. Um, I mean, the cross country runners—they they run all but maybe two weeks of the whole entire year. Yeah. So. It's it's a it's a long. I mean, it, they, they work hard. Yeah, yeah. So, um, like you said, just touch five briefly. But uh, you guys start the track season this week at, at Susquehanna. Like you said, just an opportunity to get out to compete against some other some other guys besides your own teammates. Yeah. So, we, I mean, they've been practicing on the track and field side since mid October. So it'll be fun to get out and just kind of get that opportunity to to. It's it's different when you're in a competition. So yeah, absolutely. So just to get something in before they head home for for winter break, and then they come back in early January, and then we get right back into the indoor and then the outdoor season. Yeah, and just kind of gauge where you're at right now. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Coach, well, thanks as always for your time, and uh, we'll chat after the first of the year. Okay, sounds good.
All right, for Dave or Dan, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave or Dan Show.